Today we're talking about something most EV owners never think about. You've heard about this conspiracy style claim electric cars give off radiation or that giant battery under you can basically fry you or mess with your brain. So today we're cutting through all that noise with real data, real testing and this awesome 3D model to explain it all. Right here is the high voltage battery system, the heart of any electric vehicle. You've got the battery module, the power pack, thermal management system, and power electronics. And yes, the whole setup generates electromagnetic fields, but how much? And is it even close to dangerous? So I'm gonna look at a few things right now. At this point, I have this cell can out over here, and then I'm gonna click on the pack bottom protection and thermal insulation. As you can see, this is protected by polyurethrene spray protection coating. This is a cell can, it looks like basically a big double a battery pretty much and over here we have the cell fixation with foam base potting so i guess this is how they protect it for vibration humidity media electricity and uh, impact as well this is the same foam or maybe similar to what they use in construction as well and over here we have the battery back cover and in here we have the ceiling component for battery packs which is barrier for um it's called high molecular weight polysobutane. This is something that keeps the battery's temperature low and I guess makes the newer battery uh, less prone to uh, heat, heat loss. But this is the main thing about electromagnetic radiation. This pack cover is a really thin metallic coating that they put, you know, on electric cars already the battery weighs a lot so they can't put any more weight so they use as thin as possible but this thing it says here or is claiming that it's injection molded pa poly made with a functional layout to emi shielding so it blocks electromagnetic radiation as it says here so you can rest assured the battery pack cover also has blockage of electromagnetic field and there's more things over here i don't want to get into the whole thing but you can obviously check out this website the link is in the description and one cool thing i like if you're an electric car owner, you can hear this uh, loud fan noise when you're doing a, at a Tesla station or doing fast charging. Basically, this fan is on maximum and it's cooling or preconditioning your battery. So, so it keeps the temperatures low because, you know, uh, even if you charge your phone, fast charging, 45 watt charger, uh, you are creating a lot of heat. Now, imagine you're at a flow charger or Tesla charger with 250 kilowatt and that is just a massive amount of power going into the battery at the same time. So now we'll jump into a live reading of my actual F-150 lighting using a real EMF meter while it's charging. Let's find out what the facts are, what's fiction, and whether EVs are frying anything other than fossil fuel myths. So let's get right into it. The question you've all been asking, is it safe to charge a car? So let's start with the charging station. We're having a reading of 2.5 micro teslas anything around two is safe generally with the world health organization and canada's healthing guidelines but they're looking over here the charging cable jumps up to 19 18 uh 10 and mainly averaging about 10 actually so you, you should have a distance of two to three feet away from this as you can see i'm four feet away now it's off now let's check the second thing, the battery underneath us when we're sitting in the car and charging. It's in the safe measurements. Nothing to worry about, guys. Around the car, of course, the body of the car. You don't need to worry about it. The main thing is sitting in the car. So let's check the back right now. Um, the bottom where the battery is sitting, you're looking at very safe, safe measurements. Sometimes this thing is finicky, but um, or my phone might be too close to it and it might do that. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. Everything's under one micro Tesla. One in the middle, in the middle here is a little bit, a little bit higher. But like I said, anything around two is fine. But check your seats. Seats here are safe. Safe measurements here, safe measurement there, safe here. All the seats are safe. So when you're sitting down, you got nothing to worry about in the car. Check the driver's side there. Here it is. Those are the measurements you're getting. Safe and sound. Nothing on the seat. Nothing to worry about. Anything with electronic currents, like this steering wheel right now, it's off. The heater of the steering wheel will get this thing going. Turn on the car. Sit in the car for a second. Turn on the heated steering wheel. Oh, to my surprise, nothing, actually. Very minimal. 
Well, just turn on right now actually. After I turn on the steering heat, you can check here that basically, yeah, there is something going on. So yeah, long exposures to this is not good. This is as much as a laptop when you're putting your palm on a laptop keyboard and you're typing. This is how much you're getting electromagnetic fields. Now let's check the heated seats. With the heated seats on, nothing. All safe and sound. So yeah, guys, just uh, the only thing I notice is the heated steering wheel, which gets this thing off to one, average one. Uh, which is still in the safe, you know, round of uh, electromagnetic fields. Yeah, that's it, guys. No need to worry about this uh, electromagnetic field. Everything is safe. If you have any comments, questions, let me know. If you want me to test something else, let me know. And I'll test it out for you. Thank you, guys.